So this video will show you how to resurface brake rotors using a rotor turning machine. So we'll put these pallets on with a spring. This centers against the center of the rotor. This cup holds the rotor on center. And these are just spacers. All right, so the outside portion of the rotor should always be facing that way. And then to start the rotation of the machine, you make sure it's on rotor instead of drum. Now the cutting mechanism here is centered towards the center of the rotor. This area over here, you loosen this nut and you could change the direction of the cutting mechanism to be more outbound or inbound and also can slightly change the angle. The cutting blades, you turn them counterclockwise and move the cutting blades away from the rotor. So you don't start the cut with the blades touching the rotor whatsoever. So we move through this lever over here, we move this in towards the center of the rotor. And make sure that the blades aren't touching the rotor. So we're halfway to the rotor. We also want to install the vibration dampener. Now we can start the rotation and determine the cutting depth. So we want the cutting blade to at least start touching the rotor. Okay, so this is the touch point. So we'll set this to zero. I'm watching the dial and determining how deep I have to go to make a total concentric cut. So right now I got uh, four notches right here. So I'm going to go see how many notches it takes to make a concentric cut. Alright, this one only took around three notches. Just my cut to zero. So this is the second rotor that we cut, but the first rotor that we cut required multiple passes to get a smooth surface. You can notice on the outside portion that there's dark spots. That indicates it needs a second cut. You can't necessarily expect to resurface a brake rotor on the first cut run. It may take two or three more time to make sure all the low spots have been hit by the cutter.
top of the rotation of the cut. Yeah. And we're done.